So hello and welcome to my channel and today I've got for you a little Poundland haul. Um, I went in, what's that flying around? Um, I went in with no sort of expectations, I just thought I'd have a little browse round. £51 later, oh dear. So I've not got every single thing to show you because I bought quite a lot of food and I do find that a little bit, it's not very interesting really to watch is it? So I'm going to start with this, a laundry cleanser. Um, Alan and I, that's my husband, we do a lot of training so we have a lot of sports kit that needs washing and it does get a little bit whiffy with the bacteria so I like to put something of um, an anti-bac detergent wise in there. Uh, so this was £2 and it says it kills 99.99% of household bacteria, also works at low temperatures and kills the coronavirus. Uh, I think I might take a swig of that. So um, yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? That's the first thing I've seen saying that. So yeah, I shall give that a go. And if it's any good, um, I may report back on it. Needed some more micellar water. Uh, this looked like quite a decent size. I do tend to use micellar water to clean my makeup brushes um, as well as getting off my makeup. If you've never tried micellar water, it's definitely worth giving it a go. It is a really, really good um, makeup remover. So I've gone for this one. It's the Derma V10. Not tried that one before. Pound. In fact, everything else I've got now was a pound. That was the only two pound item, that anti back stuff. Talking of cleaning makeup brushes, I did actually buy some proper makeup brush um, cleanser. This is sort of the uh, Poundland's own brand, isn't it? The makeup gallery. So not tried this before. So um, I'm hoping it works as well as the one, my usual one I use is from Wilco. And I think that's, that's more expensive. It's certainly not a pound, but it's a really good one. So if this lives up to that, I shall uh, have found a cheaper alternative. I've got a couple of packs of these, napkins. I do like to have a nice napkin when we have people round. Not that we'll be doing that very often or anything in the near future but yeah um, I've got two packs of those I really like those they've got gold and silver stars on and they're quite a nice quality I also bought a big pack um, I think it got about 200 or something in it or 100 they're very thin but I like to have a napkin every day when I have my dinner so that's what they're going to be used for and these will be safe for special occasions I always look at the false nails in Poundland nearly said Primark then and these I got quite a while ago and I've never seen them again in our shop so when I did I got I did leave one pack just so somebody else could have some um, these are lovely they sort of a, a rose gold metallic shiny nail glamour girl stiletto gloss and they're by the fur they're in the fern McCann range so got three packs of those got some sweets of course um got a couple of packs of these i filled these up in our um sort of sweet jars that we've got around the house i'll pop a picture in now so here's the jars of sweets these actually are all poundland um jars actually come to think of it I bought these one, these uh, jars a couple of weeks ago. I've got about six or seven of them. So they're full of jelly babies. These were from Valentine's with a little sort of embossed heart. And that's what the mints have gone in. Uh, I think Alan's been helping himself there. That was full. Um, and then these uh, jars have been going in Poundland for a long, long time. So that's full of the Tamfastics. Uh, and they are just placed at different points in the house. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah, so Alan and I get through those at an alarming rate. So that's the empty packet, but just to show you. And I have tried them. Very nice these are, so I'd recommend them. A couple of packs of my usual Jelly Babies. Love these, love the red ones. Red, green, purple and white. And then I usually give the orange and yellow away at work. So I got three packs of those. Two packs of the Haribo Tanfastics. Um, cheeky, really. They've put this like as a, a Halloween type, but there's no different sweets in there to normal. Could have at least done a few different shapes, couldn't they? Um, yeah, absolutely love these. I like the cherries. I like the dummies. And I also like uh, the little like crocodiles. They're my favourites. I actually ran out of some of this the other day. I couldn't believe it because I normally have a lot in stock. It's the Hashtag 6 Hand Cream. And I've just had another subscriber let me know that they'd bought some of this and really liked it. So I won't say the name in case uh, they don't want me to put that on there. 
but yeah this is my favorite hand cream at a pound it's a really nice smelling one and it's lovely and nourishing for your hands obviously I had one of these before so i thought i'd pick another one up because i've not seen this color in there for a while so the one i've got at the minute um it's already on the back of my phone it broke i can't remember what happened to it anyway i sort of fixed it with some nail glue so i need to replace that so that's what that's for picked up a packet of floss harps um i never used to floss my teeth and every time i kept going to the dentist she kept asking me so i thought i better get on to it so i love doing it now i've got quite an obsession with it so in here you've got 75 uh toothpicks or floss harps um they're really good value for a pound because elsewhere they're a bit more expensive they had these in Poundland this time, not seen these in there before, the Garnier face masks. I know this isn't necessarily the one that everybody raves about, but I thought I'd give this a go. It's uh, super hydrating and anti-fatigue, and anti-fatigue, get your words right, Belinda. So it's in a lavender shade, which I don't normally go for. Not a shade, it's a fragrance, what am I on about? Um, but I thought because it was a good brand for a pound, I'd pick it up and give it a go. And then finally, I went to the little section where they have the uh, surprise almost makeup items. Um, yeah, I do pick up some real good things in there. They have some really good branded stuff. So to start with, I got this. The only reason I got this one was for this lip gloss. Um, but it's got a pencil in there as well. They started putting two items in some of them. Normally you only get one. So let's see what these are. Oh, it's all sealed up. Right, so it's an MUA, which is a Poundland stock, a lot of those. MUA Whipped Velvet. Um, let's get that open so we can have a look at it. So it's out of the packet. I've just wiped my own lipstick off to just give it a go. This, I think, I won't wear on its own. This will be something that I mix with something else. Actually, I thought it was going to be glossy, but it's not. It's a matte one. That's disappointing. But it's like a corally peach colour. Hmm. I'm not sure about that one. It smells a bit funny as well. Hmm. Might have gone out of date, but yeah, I'll mix that up with something else. That's okay. I think I'll put that on and then I'd put maybe just a different sort of pinky gloss over the top. And that came with another MUA. I think this must be a lip liner. Yes, it is. And it's got a little pencil on the top. It's got a little sharpener on the top. Let's get that one out. So it's sort of a pinky coloured lip liner. Ooh. Yeah, you can't really see that. It's almost a bit of a skin colour, slightly pearlized, And it's in the colour, softly lined, I think. Yeah, that may have been a bit of a dud buy. And then the second one I picked up also had two items. It was this that uh, caught my eye on this one. Let's get this one out of the packet. So we've got there a double-ended eyeliner, I think. Miss Sporty brand. Are they both Miss Sporty? Yes. I think they sell Miss Sporty in um, boots, don't they? So, so we've got there sort of a brownie, um, goldy sort of colour there. That's quite nice, actually feels a bit soft, it's sort of, the, the actual lead's not lasting very long. And then the other end is, oh, it's called step one, step two. Not sure how that works. And then this side here is, oh, that one's nice, I like that. That looks like it's sort of an aubergine colour. Is it aubergine, aubergine? Um, so it's sort of a brownie hint. It's not really purple, sort of. Looks purple on the... Um, on the actual pencil but yeah actually that's quite a good buy for me i like that and i like the side i like the idea that it's two ended so the shade of those is zero zero three really romantic i think that's a really good idea having each end yeah i like that and then finally in the haul this little gem i'm hoping will be nice let's get this one on as well so this is in the color full peach 102 Ooh. So that's it on. It looks a different colour on my lips to what it looks like in there. Um, certainly not a peachy colour. Don't know why they, uh, they got the name for that. Let's see if I can mix it with a bit of this. Just to cool it, calm it down a bit. Oh my goodness. No, I think that might have made it worse. Anyway, it's on. Let's get rid of a bit of it. 
So that's it blotted down after I've just dabbed off a bit. I actually don't mind that at all. Um, it feels a little bit more like a lip stain, so it should stay on a bit longer. Um, drop me a comment down below to see what you think of that combo. So I also bought these pens. I forgot to uh, film these earlier, so I'll just pop this in now. So I've had some of these before. These are the Shine and Sparkle Glitter Pens really really good they don't last an awful long time but because they're gel pens they write really nicely and um yeah i like them so whenever i see them in there i'll grab some because they don't always have them and then i wanted something a bit brighter and spotted these i've already took a couple out because i've been using them so they actually smell the scented pens and again they're like a gel um and they do smell, smell quite fruity, but these are really bright, I love them, the bright oranges and the pink, it's um, it's almost like a Barbie pink, so yeah, both of those, definite recommendation, 10, pa 10 pens for a pound is amazing, so if you're looking for adults or children's pens, grab some of those. So that's that little haul done, just a very quick one, I could have made it a lot longer by adding all the food into it, but might have been a bit boring so i won't bother so if you're not a subscriber maybe you might want to consider hitting that button now and drop me a comment down below i love reading those and receiving them they mean so much to me that you take time out of your day to do that for me i really do appreciate it and i've got some lovely little rapport going on with a few of you now which i really enjoy um so yeah please do that and then i'll write back to you so thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye for now